so much of patriarchy is that we as men are not safe, right? We're certainly not safe to ourselves, but no. much worse to the women, non-conforming people, children around yeah. us, right? Like, and so, and so, let's just take a moment. Let's spend a little bit of time with, with safety, and and maybe let me go back a layer for for the listeners um, and viewers that have not been in the conversation. So, mm-hmm. one of the reasons we know it's loaded is because both of us hold space, mm-hmm. because it's kind of part of the discourse and the social movement that we spend time in. Yeah. And, and and there is this thin layer between kind of demanding, asking for the right, the safety that we all deserve and need so that we can grow and develop. Yes. And saying, I actually don't want any discomfort. Yeah, that's not. I it. actually, yeah, I don't want to deal with any discomfort. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't want to uh, be led, mm-hmm. right? I don't want to. And so I'm going to kind of throw up the safety card to hijack this process, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't want to take responsibility for my own emotional, for like finding my own way into emotional coherence. I'm gonna throw it on you and telling yeah. you that. So so I think those are some of the ways in which it's confusing. But in the end, you value safety. Yeah. I value safety. Yeah. And I we want yeah. it. So let's let's, let's yeah, talk about let's that. talk about it. Because I, 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 <laughs> it's an interesting thing about safety. It's not, I don't have a sense, I, a lot of my um, spiritual wings, if you will, came from doing an art project called Anonymous Boston, supporting a project called uh, What's Beautiful Never Dies, and working specifically, usually, with mothers who've had their boys murdered, Mm. usually their boys, sometimes young girls. Mm. Um, And it was a very kind of tumultuous task. I took uh, images, I became part of this project. It was beautiful. Um, And I started to realize, like, there's numbers for this about what men are doing, right? When you look at, like, handgun violence, it's like 91% men. Um, domestic violence, where, where domestic violence goes through all, and you know, folks will let you know all genders, but it's generally men who are violently uh, uh, executing their lovers. <laughs> so when you investigate that, when you think about sex, when you think about um, um, sexual assault, I mean, you know, and even when people are like, hey, you know, all people are raped, it's generally by men. Right. So even, yes, many men are raped, usually by men, statistically speaking. Statistically, right, by men. So what's going on here? Is it working? Is our fucking flirtation with masculinity in this way working? Are we still going to war? Are we still murdering each other? Are we still ready at any moment? It's on a drop, you know what I mean? Like, it's it's on sight. Like, uh, uh, that relationship that we have to death and murder has to be examined and I know there's capitalism at play. I know there's colonization at play. I know white supremacy at play. I believe in intersectionality. I know the way it shows up in us often, like you had said earlier about some of the times that you look back and you go, shortcoming. It was patriarchy usually like kind of leading the wheel, right? Yep. Okay. That was for me too, right? That is for me. So it's like, okay, how, how when those things come up, can I tell on myself radical vulnerability, sure. compassionate inquiry, without beating myself up, without the shame? And then it goes, well, how do I want to be in the world? Can I practice that? Do I have a community where I feel safe doing that? So then back to the word safe. Safe is, 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 can be used for so many reasons, but for me, safe is, can I practice being myself with you? Beautiful. Even if myself is scared as fuck. Mm-hmm. Can I be safe in my fear? Mm-hmm. And then how do we hold that for people? So I think sometimes for us, circle keeping is creating a super supportive container of love and trust and care for that to come out, but then figuring out where that shows up in community agreements, where that shows up and how we're leading the conversation. So folks are not like, whoa, 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 that's a sensitive thing for me. We can't talk about it at all. Rather than being like, maybe this is a moment I need to take deep breaths. Maybe I need to excuse myself from this. Or maybe this is something I have to note to self. And in that moment, the flags come out. And then all of a sudden, we're unable to actually have the uncomfortable conversation yeah. that makes somebody feel unsafe, even though they may be safe in that moment. That's anxiety. Mm-hmm. These are tensions. They show up in your body. Your body's telling you, flight, fight, yeah. freeze. All right? So in that moment, it comes out. And I think it's something we have to examine. If we, if we claim to believe in transformation. Yes, sir. If we claim to believe in change, if we claim to believe the things we're saying, that people can grow. If you really believe that, then examine how you're showing up in spaces in which people are growing. That's beautiful. 